Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Mecha Magic. Last time uh, we finished, well I'm saying finished, uh, we did a lot of blood magic stuff. You know, we went over here and did the Well of Suffering, which is going. Uh, it's not chunk loaded, so it's not actually actively going. Uh, I don't have my div divination tool, um, but it's going if you listen closely. Which I have mob sounds turned off. Um, yeah, it's going underneath there quite well. It's also killing these guys, which is fantastic. You can see them dying slowly. So I can actually get rid of this thing, which is a thing I will do off camera because it's just tedious to deal. Um, but one thing that I would like to do is, even though this is technically a mob grinder of its own, I would like to today i decided i was going to fix my mob grinder uh, on camera uh because you know it's part of my to-do list so i'm like hey let's just fix it on camera uh because it's this thing right here it's broken it's not working it's not working at all um i don't know if it's the soul cages or what but there's something about it that's just not working not working. So we're going to actually come down here and we're going to gather up my killer Joe as soon as I kill this guy. He, he doesn't want to die. I'm going to gather up my killer Joe and all the things around him. The chest, the piping, everything. So we're just going to abandon this one. Uh, because I'm just not going to deal with this one anymore. This one's going to be abandoned. We're going to move it to a much better location uh, overall. Hello. I forgot you were there. Actually, you might have spawned in there. It's kind of interesting. In its own right. Alright, so we have the reservoirs. Uh, we have quite a few things here. So we're going to gather up everything and we're going to leave this place. I feel like it doesn't exist. Yeah. Pretend like this place doesn't exist down there and not mess with it. Because I decided to move it to a much better location and utilize something that I haven't used yet. And go into an area that hasn't been gone into uh, yet as well. Now, I just dumped all that garbage off. Uh, I want to gather some cobblestone, I think. Wait, do I want to make it out of that wither glass? I think I want to make it out of that glass. Wither... It's this witherproof glass. What is it called? Witherproof. It's actually witherproof glass. Um, and I have to make the recipe for it. And to make it, I need soul glass, which is glass and soul sand. I'll just make tons of this stuff. So yeah, we're going to make tons of this soul glass. And we are going to make a good bit of this witherproof glass. Because we can. And we will. It'd be cool anyway. Come on. Count me as shifting, please. There we go. That may or may not be enough. I really don't care. We also need some dirt. 64 should be plenty. And we want to make some... Some spikes. Wooden spikes, stone spikes. I think wooden spikes are plenty good enough. We're going to make just some of them. I don't know how many, many I can make, but I'm just going to make uh, some of them. I'm going to make one more set. No, we're not, because I'll have to make some more planks, and that's kind of annoying. So we have wooden spikes. That's fine. And we want some type of fans. I'm pretty sure you can make some type of mob fans. Can we make some type of mob fans? Here we are. Fans. Pushes entities up to 16 blocks away. Also, this is what I want. Make some repeaters. And we'll make... Uh, Killer Joe has a range of... What's his range? Let me set him down and look at him. What's his range? 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a four by five area. So five. We'll do a five and. Okay. So we have five fans. We have enough spikes. We don't have enough spikes to cover that entire area, I don't think. So we want enough spikes to cover a five uh, by four area, which we need 20. We want 20 um, spiky spikes. That's pretty good. So uh, spikes. We want to make some lovely spikes. We'll make a good bit of wood here. And we'll make some lovely spikes. These basically, I just want something to damage them to help, um, you know, assist the Killer Joe. That way, pretty much helps get him along the way, you know. Uh, that's exactly funny. That's exactly, that's exactly perfect. All right, now, I have all this stuff, which I'm just going to temporarily, like, toss some of this stuff away just to get it out of my inventory because it's kind of annoying and in, in my way. I also want one of those, uh, uh, what are they called? Drop of Evil. One of these. Oh, yes, I'm making Cursed Earth again. All right, let's sleep. And we are going to, what else do we need? We need to make a place for this mob grinder. So where do I want to make it? I want to make it in the, the depth part. Yeah, I want to make it in Johnny Depth. Uh, that's place the deep dark of course it's got a different recipe because it's one him so it's just compressed cobblestone two three four five six seven eight and we can do this i've never actually done this and on one ten so hopefully this works hopefully it doesn't crash my game yeah let's hope this doesn't, doesn't crash my game um, where do I want to put this thing? I don't even know where I want to put this thing. I can put it on top of my nether portal. That sounds like a plan. Just over here. Just chilling next to my nether portal. Now let's put it in the hole. I don't want it in my house. That's all there is to it. I don't want to put it in there. I'm going to put it next to the nether portal. I'm going to literally put it right here. So that's the net. That's the, uh, the portal. So, um, I guess you just do it like you normally do it. And let me break that one. And click it. Or you stand on it. You stand on it and it happens. Apparently I'm going to the deep dark now. I think it's my first time I went in. And it's taking a while. Taking a long while. Huh. Pretty cool. Pretty snazzy. Okay, we're going to make a lovely new thing as the the deep dark of darkness. Alright. So we have the deep dark now, darkness. And that way you don't want to stand on it anymore. And we need my pickaxe, which I have here. Luckily I can floss, so it's no big deal. I was just gonna find the actual um, world beneath. And I want my spell book as well, because I will want to, I haven't really leveled up. I need to level up uh, a good bit. It's be a good place to do it because I can just spam light spells and I can actually see where my light spells are going uh, because you know, it's so freaking dark in this place. I'm supposed to be coming through to this big cavern, but I haven't come across this cavern yet. Hello? Cavern? Cavern. There we go. There we are. Imagine if I would have, like, done it on these portals. Uh, these pillars, I mean. 
Oh, look, I'm out here to have filler as well. It's quite convenient, actually. That's actually exactly what I was looking for, one of these pillars. Because, I just feel lava pool over there. Because this pillar is a good um, backdrop for the mob grinder. If I say so myself. Apparently there's a tree over here as well. Look at this. Underground tree. That's pretty cool. Look at this. It's a little underground um, forest. Let's get back over here for the shadows try to kill me. All right. So we have this lovely uh, pillar. And we have where I came down in, which is right here. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter because I'm obviously going to set waypoints and stuff with um, my draconic thingy. Uh, only problem is, is this place is really dark and I can't turn up any brightness. Yeah, I didn't think so. The only problem is it's really dark in this place. But it's a good place to just shove a mob grinder and call it a day. Alright, so we need my builder's one and we need this weatherproof glass. And it's going to be a very simple design. Very, very simple. And as I said, I wanted it near one of these pillars, just for aesthetics, basically. And we're going to build it, like, next to the pillar. I'm actually in the darkness, apparently, and the... There you go. And we are going to build out... What is shooting the lasers? What's shooting lasers? Huh? Hmm. Anyway. So we're going to build out the bottom. Oh, it's so one of those golems. Okay. Uh, so it's five range. Okay. So it's five by four. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's actually, I don't need this one. Oh my gosh, it's so stupid. I don't need this one or this one. I don't want the, the stupid things to try to attack me. So one, two, three, four, five, and these guys, obviously. There we go. There we are. I don't even care if those are in there because it doesn't really matter. I should get rid of it right there. All right, so we're going to build this up. And we're going to build this out. So it needs to be a four. That's four. And we need to build out one more to do the front. I'll put the killer Joe there. All right. So there is the basis of the uh, system at the moment. So we have the killer Joe that goes here, which I can go ahead and place down. So that's him. We'll have that 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 it in is uh, fuel and stuff like that. But we have the Killer Joe looking all Killer Joey, which is pretty cool. And we have this area. Actually, it needed to be down one more, didn't it? Yeah, you need to actually come here, Killer Joe. You actually are gonna be here. I forgot about the whole spikes. There you go. He goes there. All right. All right. So I need to put the spikes wherever they are in my bag somewhere. Spikes there. They are. Here. Dang it! That one in its place. So I'm gonna have to break this one without me like landing on the other ones.
There we go. Okay, and there's a spiked floor. So things will fall on this thing, get all spiked up, and be all spiked-tastic. So we're going to raise all this up one more. And then we'll be able to fix it where things come in here. Okay, let's fix this. Apparently I broke it in my own twist of the way. All right, so we need to raise this up some more. I don't want it to raise this one. There we go. All right. So this floor needs to be recessed a little bit. We need to recess this one. It doesn't matter if it's cobblestone or stone or whatnot. But this is going to be recessed some. I got this design in my head. It's like a weird, tiered, freaking craziness. I didn't bring any redstone either, so I'm going to have to go back to fix this. Okay, and this is then going to have um, dirt on it. Let's put it like there for now. This will have dirt on it. There we go. Oh, there's dirt. Here's the weatherproof glass. That's going to be built up from. And I will have to, as I said, um, get some redstone to wire up the fans to blow them off, off of this platform. See, what will happen is they will blow off of this platform and fall down here. They will land on these spikes, they get po 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 poked up, and the killer drill will kill them. But they'll spawn on this cursed earth that well, this will be, and fall down below. It won't have to be, you know, closed off, really. I'll have to lip it, probably, uh, in the case of spiders. But that's it. So now it's spider proof, but I can still get in here, uh, no problem, in case I ever want to destroy it and whatnot. So right now it's lit up, so it's no problem, and I'm going to head back momentarily. I actually mark my dislocator as a mob grinder of doom and dark. All right, and we'll go home to get some redstone blocks, and we will set some more fans up. Because I need five fans. Is that how many is, it is? Five, isn't it? Yeah, just five. I just need five fans. And it's not going to be turned off. It's just going to run constantly. Uh, and I have already had the chunk later, so it's not a big problem. So let's go ahead and head on back over. And as I said, get this hooked up. Which is not going to be a problem. It's going to be very easy. Uh, we're going to make me an access uh, here, I suppose. And we'll have to fix this up off here. And I think the fans face me. If I'm correct, so I'm gonna have to probably fly when I place them. Eh. Ow.
Okay, well, there's that. Look at that. Look at those fans. Look how awesome those fans are. Now, where's that drop of evil? There we are. Bam. So nothing should spawn on there like crazy. And get blasted off. Look at this. I can even put it here and get blown away. Nothing's fine. Maybe it's too light. I don't think light affected it. I don't think light affected cursors. We're going to see if Lot affects this Cursed Earth. There we go. It's just the fact that these things are over it. Here we are. Oh, we have a dude down here. He's taking damage. Okay, we have mobs in here. We just have no um no stuff. That's the thing. We have no Oh, we have a lot of mobs in there. Look at that. That's a lot of mobs. It wasn't affecting it, that's fine. We fixed it. So now we need to put a sword in there of some sort. It's a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. Um I mean, I probably won't even want to change this to a Draconic Grinder. Oh, that's fine. But this will allow me to get Will as well. Um, so let's head back and prep the tar out of the rest of it. So they're like, hi, I'm the Creeper, and I can't blow up this Grinder yet because it's weatherproof. And we can... I'm going to actually give it my sword. Look at this. Look at all that. I'm just killing them. Like, just completely slicing the tar out of them. So it's got my uh, invincible sword. And I'll need to put a lovely, awesome chest. To suck all of our lovely items up. Look at all the stuff we have here. All these lovely things. All from this mob grinder. That's what we need. Mob grinding stuff. As I said, we can actually put a sentient sword in this guy, or we can put this stuff, or anything we want to, really. We can put any type of sword, any type of weapon we want to in this guy. Fortune, uh, anything. Anything. And we can do it that way. So we can have this extract always, and have it go into here. So anything that has a spot will have a four and be put away. I will need to do something with the um, garbage, which is the weapons, armor, and things like that that has no place for anything. Right now he's using my sword, which is not ideal. So he'll I'll want to get another uh, sword. So that's the thing. Uh, apparently vampire things don't have a place uh, in the system. So that is a thing. These that took like a while to kill. Actually, that's quite fantastic. Um, but yeah, it looks like spiders are having issues here. So that may be a problem, is spiders. So, yeah. Well, but I still have to hook the vat up, but I think you've... I don't know if, maybe if you've seen me do that before. But so it's not that big of a deal. Just pop the fat down, feed the dude his fat liquid, and call it a lovely, awesome day. That spider's just resisting everything. I can actually face a fan downwards, and it wouldn't affect it. Um, so I could just feed this thing his liquid, and it could go. But we have a mob grinder hooked back up yet again, which is fantastic. So yeah, that's great. Uh, we'll also want to have a 
the power thing uh, hooked up to here and have it receiving power from my network. So this thing always has power. Look at this. It's great. And now, as I said, temporarily it has my sword. We want to make another sword for it. Maybe a dark sword that's chargeable. Uh, a draconic sword, maybe eventually. Um, something better than my sword. But I do want to see if now that this is actually, you know, not a, you know, stupid grinder. I could actually put in, I could leave and it still run. Uh, like, these things are not being stored away. Because I need to find places for creeper heads apparently too. That's one thing I, I didn't think about. I could actually have a cleaver that could cleave off the heads. Because I need zombie heads for Z logic processors. So that actually works out that I just leave it my sword temporarily. So eventually I'm going to have a draconic staff instead of anything else. And if I really wanted a sword right now, I have my um, crazy sword of awesome. I have this. Really, I give this this. And it's fine. And I could get uh, blood shards as well, which is pretty cool. Because it's as long as I chunk load the um, other thing. So I need to find a place for all these. That's no problem. No problem at all. So anyway, I think this is pretty cool. Look at this. It's using my blood magic sword. Uh, as I said, I will have to go chunk load my blood altar real quick. And I will have to feed this thing water and make sure the fat is always being fed water. And a six beef and sugar I feed it. Yeah. Beef and sugar. Um, so it's basically just simple things that I have to reef back up. But it's nothing much, nothing crazy. But yeah, the mob grinder is a thing now, which is pretty, pretty cool to have a mob grinder. Uh, that's why I wanted to have it on the list. I wanted to have a mob grinder on the list because it's something that's effective, efficient. I mean, you need these kind of things. I said it might be good to switch it out every now and then to have, like, you know, different things such as to have, you know, say the beheading sword and to have my blood magic shard uh, creation sword. That way I can get more of those things. And I can decorate with the blood crystals and stuff like that because I have different things being collected at different times and that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to you know, leave this semi-effective mob grinder here. I don't know why the spider is being uh, really dumb, but like spiders are a problem. But that's a problem. That's a little tiny problem, but it's not a big problem. But we have all these vampires, and I can actually figure out what to do with them and stuff. So we're going to head back home, and we are going to figure out a place to set all these things. But I think. I'm going to call that an effective uh, mission that we've done there. We've successfully built a mob grinder, and we've got it running in the deep dark. It's away from me, and it should be chunk loaded um, and out of the way. So, as I said, it's, I can check it when I get back here to see if it's still loaded by just opening the chest. Because that's what you do, is you just open the chest, supposedly running everything. Because obviously if the stuff is still in it, obviously, it's still loaded. That's the thing. Um, that's why I put the chunk loader mod in myself, is because I want to be if the chunks loaded. That way, the thing. <laughs> I want the things in there. Uh, so let's go check the chest and see what's all rolling in. Things still rolling in, like, no, no tomorrow. Not really. Not really rolling in like crazy. Oh, there's some rotten flesh. I just saw some zombie flesh pop in. So it is still going. Uh, it is still going, and the wither farm's going. Uh, so everything's still going, which is pretty cool. As I said, I'll need to set a spot for creeper heads, um, hats, 
Apparently, I'm also going to get a lot of these things. Cyberware parts, which is pretty cool. Sticks. Um, and core stones. I already have a spot. And vampire fangs. So, yeah. I had to set a few more drawers up here to hold some of these items that did not have drawers. Such as, as I said, vampire fangs, hats. The hats, um... Hats can go here. Vampire fangs, sure. Um, and creepy heads. Creepy heads can go here. We're good? I think that's good. I think we're good. I think that's good. Uh, as I said, I'll have to filter out the garbage over time uh, and stuff. So right now, we're good. Uh, I'll have to go through and like weed out the armor and weapon bits that drop from the ones that have armor and weapons and stuff like that but it's no big deal but we have successfully i do say can come over here and quickly take off a mob grinder and i can switch it to a sentient sword to get mob, mob will i can switch it to a lady heading sword to get heads and i can switch it to the draconic um draconic, not draconic um the blood magic sword to get uh, blood shards. If it drops any, it hasn't dropped any yet, but it can, it will, it should. Um, but that's effective and efficient. So I'm gonna leave it here and next time we'll work on something else. Um, I don't know exactly what. We may get back into some blood magic soon, uh, not blood magic. I said blood magic a second ago. Draconic evolution again soon. Uh, we have a 20 draconium block, so we might be able to do some stuff now with it. We have to make quite a few cores and stuff and to make the weapons and things to make the armor. So that's kind of like that's going to be kind of like my end game things is to you know bathe in these uh, things. Maybe I need to rebuild my house out of these things. I don't know. Um, but it takes a while for the chickens to lay them, so. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I don't like the fact that my textures kind of break on those, but it's no big deal, I suppose. But yeah, let's let's just let's just deal with it. Uh, I'm gonna work on getting Ars Magica experience this time for sure. Uh, I can just, as I said, spam illumination everywhere and hope for the best because it gives me like a little bit of experience. You can see the experience I gain. Every time the lights like land, um, it's three, six, eight, I'm not three, nine, five. Um, so it just takes time to do it, but it's the fish effective. Uh, and we might get back into that, but we could actually we might either go back into some draconic evolution to start doing some of the coring and stuff like that, or we might go into Ars Magica. I really don't want to go into draconic evolution because I'll feel, feel that's more of an end game kind of thing. Or we might go into some uh, bosses and some Ars Magica bosses soon as well. That's the thing. So either Ars Magica stuff or Draconic stuff. or uh, We might even try to figure out this Lightning Craft stuff because I really want to figure out this stuff. Because uh, we're on my second to-do list here. I mean, it's not that mature. We still have Cyberware to figure out. Go figure. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. And I'll see you all at another time. Bye.